Hello and welcome, it's Machine Day and I hope you're doing really, really well. So I'm really looking forward to doing this video. I've been planning this one for a little while. Now the way I wanted to do this was to challenge myself and keep myself within a budget of $250, which is around about £200, maybe a bit less than £200 if you're in the UK. And the idea is to get the best value for money stream gear that you can possibly get for that budget. And the reasoning for this is I know there's a lot of people out there that might be watching this that perhaps just want to dip their toe in streaming. Maybe they just want to try it casually, but they don't want to spend a silly amount of money on streaming gear. Can get a lot of quality without spending insane amounts of money. I'm not affiliated with any of the companies that I'm going to mention or any of the products that I'm going to mention here. These are purely just things that I recommend within the budget of $250. I'm going to talk about what the the actual essential things are for a stream setup and the main aim of this video is just to give some general advice about a budget stream setup so I've gone out I spent my own money on products specifically to make this video let me know in the comments if you do end up buying any of these products and please feel free to use the affiliate links that will help support this channel by clicking on the links below for the products that I talk about in this video this is a two-part video series and this is not the most important of the two videos in this video I'm gonna be covering what the products are and why I've chosen them in video Video two, I'm going to be going into how you can turn that $250 stream into a much more expensive feeling stream setup. So essentially what you can do to all of the kit that you've bought once you've got it, because to be honest, out of the box, these things might not work anywhere near as well as they could do and their potential. So make sure you watch out for the end card at the end of this video and click on that video and watch all of that video. It's really, really important. If you enjoy this video, if you do find it useful, if you took some decent advice from this video, hit the like button below. I'd really appreciate it. If you're not subscribed already, you should be. Also, feel free to come check me out at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. Let's go. We're not trying to buy the cheapest possible products, but we're also not trying to buy the best possible products. The objective here is to buy products that are quite cheap, but that represent incredible value for money. So it's about getting the biggest bang for your buck. So no one of these products are the cheapest product out there. And no one of these products are the best product out there. I'm first going to start with the most important thing, in my opinion, which is the audio, the microphone. Now, I've already done a review of the Fine Fine K683A. I did a giveaway as part of this, and I was incredibly surprised at how good this microphone was. I'll link the video to that sound test there, so I'm not going to actually do the sound test in this video, but you can check out the detail of exactly what happened in that sound test. Honestly, this microphone, I was very surprised at. It sounds like a microphone at the 100 to $150 mark. I thought it was better than the HyperX Quadcast. It sounded much better quality out of the box, and then with some treatment, it sounded even better. The microphone itself has got a pop filter. It comes with a built-in stand, although we're not going to be using the stand for our setup because we're going to go into detail about a boom arm. It comes with audio monitoring, so if you want to be able to hear what you sound like on the fly whilst you're streaming, you do have that option with the 3.5 jack on the back. And one thing I really liked about this microphone is that it had loads of different angles that you could work with. So you're going to be able to adjust this alongside the boom arm to get like a really good angle from your microphone, which again will help with the sound quality and also will help in terms of cutting out mouse clicks and also typing as well. The second video that I'll do in this series will give more filters and stuff that will show you how you can cut some of that out even further still. The microphone's got an on-off button and it's also got a gain control and it's USB, but it also has a USB-C option as well, which I thought was pretty cool. Overall, this microphone is not one of the top, top brands, but it's an up-and-coming brand. They've been going for a long time and the quality and build quality of what they do is very, very good. And one of the good things about this microphone, it's a USB condenser microphone, so you don't have to have it really close to your face if you don't want to. So this means you can use it perhaps down the line as a secondary microphone, but most importantly, the sound quality was incredible from this mic. I actually got the HyperX when I was first starting out. If I was starting out again, I would definitely get this microphone because it's half the cost of the HyperX Quadcast and it sounds better. So you can pick this up for around about £49.99. Sometimes it's even cheaper than that when there are deals on as well. That equates to just under $70 for this microphone and trust me, for that you're getting a lot of kit for your money. 
Next, we'll talk about lighting. There are two types of light I'm going to go for. One's a softbox light. And for this, I'm using a studio light from Raylano. This is an 800 watt studio light. It's quite a big light. Probably about 70 centimeters tall by around about 40 centimeters wide. It comes with a stand and it comes with the bulb included. It's got an, a simple on off switch and I'm intending on using this as a back light to the stream. So the light itself comes with a portable stand. So there's going to be a lot of future uses that you'll be able to use for this particular light. You may start, for example, to use it as a fill light or maybe as a backlight or a hair light. It's got lots of different options here. And because the stand is adjustable, you can use it on your desk if you really want and you've got the space or you could use it behind you just out of shot. It took me just three or four minutes to set this lamp up. It was really, really easy to set up. So although they probably look slightly complicated, they're really dead easy to set up. And they just give you a really good option for moving a nice, big, powerful light around the room. Now, one downside to this lamp is that you cannot adjust the darkness or the lightness of the lamp but that's not too much of a problem because in the early days you're really just wanting to make sure you've got a decent amount of base level lighting for your stream overall at 43 pounds 99p which is around about 60 65 dollars this is a really good value for money studio level lamp that you can use you do not need to go straight for the top of the range elgato key lights or anything like that you can just go with these types of lights that are a lot more cheaper and help you build your stream up on a budget one other thing about this product is over time if you wanted you could also use it as a ambient lighting as well. If you got some colored gels to go over the front of it, you could completely change the color of the softbox lighting. Next, I've gone for the £50.99 and p or around about $70, $75 new uh, two-pack portable face lights. So these are mini lights that are designed to really be front-facing lights on you and to increase the lighting level on your face. These are quite easy to set up, as you can see here. They come with a little tripod. One small negative about these lights is that you can't extend them too far, but the good thing is they do have the standard screw-ins for them, so you'd be able to buy stand if you need to get some extra height from these lights. So these LED lights come with a pull-out gel pack. So again, you could change the core of these if you ever needed to at a later stage in time. They are USB powered. So these things run from your PC and there is a dimming switch and an on-off switch that comes with both of them too. So it gives you a little bit of flexibility there. Now the good thing about these lights is they are very light and very flexible. So even though they're not particularly big, they give off enough light that's going to mean that you're lit well enough to get a very good picture and help your camera out with the lighting it's going to need to do its job. But equally, it isn't going to take up too much space on your desk. They can be added to a tripod that's clamped to your desk or an extender. Now, these products do feel a little bit like cheap products, but to be honest, they are very much kind of entry-level face lights. Now, Noyo is a, a pretty good lighting brand, so this is one of their entry-level products. But the good thing about this is you do get two of them for that price, so you may only need to use one. You can use two of them. You might want to use one as a side light or a hair light, and you can use the other one as a fill light. Either way, these products represent very, very good value for money for the price that you're going to pay for them. They're not throwaway products you could probably use these again going forward for your stream or other projects that you may have i really like the fact that these can be tripod stand or can be mounted onto a clamp stand this just gives a lot of flexibility and actually some of the elgato products don't even have that ability so there's actually less flexibility with the elgato products even though i have the elgato products and i really do like them and love them these are a great alternative if you don't want to spend 150 250 pounds on lights like that Next, we've got the Logitech C920. Now, the C920 is an incredibly popular camera. The reason why I've chosen to include this over something else, because I've looked at a number of different webcams here. First of all, it does 1080p streaming, so you're going to be able to get a full screenshot at full resolution for Twitch, for example, and still get a reasonable quality from that, particularly if you look at all the treatment stuff that I will show you in the second video to increase the quality of the camera shot. It does only operate at 30 frames, which is a bit of a downside, but for most people, 30 frames is going to be good enough, and certainly for a starter stream and certainly if you're going for a smaller webcam within a gameplay screen now if you do want the full screen cam like this 30 frames might not be quite enough for you so you may have to reconsider that but i'll be honest if you're streaming at 1080 to start with you should probably consider a 30 frames per second anyway on your stream so particularly if you've not got the best of internet now you can actually use this webcam over wi-fi which is kind of weird but the webcam itself is a usb plug-in so you're probably not going to be using it over wi-fi to be honest consider 
considering at the height of COVID, this camera was costing $120, $150. It's now come down to $59.99. Pretty much half the price that it was this time a year or two ago. And to me, that just represents absolutely incredible value for money, particularly for someone that is just starting out. It's got a really nice 98 degree field of view. It will have a great aperture on it, particularly with the lighting that you're going to have that we've already mentioned in the video. Also, the webcam comes with HD autofocus and light correction too. So there's a little bit of AI going on in the camera that just makes the picture on the fly look as good as possible right out of the box. But again, we can treat the camera to make it even better within OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS. Logitech is a really trusted and solid brand for webcams. So there's a good chance you would not have to replace this webcam for a long time unless really you're updating straight to a DLSR or a mirrorless camera. So this is definitely one of those cameras that could last you potentially for quite a few years if you want to. But even then, you could use it as a secondary camera for perhaps like a full screen camera on your rig or setup or another angle if you then do upgrade to a second camera down the line. So this isn't a throwaway camera necessarily. Me, for example, I have the Razer Keo, which I got a long time ago when I first started streaming. That cost me about £100 at the time, £110, so nearly double the price of this. The C920 does as good, if not a better job than that, although it doesn't come with the ring light on the front of it. We've managed that with other ways. So the difference here is instead of spending £80, £100 on like a Razer Keo ring light or something similar, for the same price, we've actually got two LED face lamps that we can use that can be mounted and colorized and we've got the webcam so that's much better value for money in my opinion i was honestly really really surprised at just how cheap this product has got because i vividly remember looking at this camera when i first started streaming because i really considered it in place of the razor keo Finally, we've got the boom arm, and of all the different products that I've chosen to include here, this Neuer adjustable boom arm is probably the one that I would potentially replace quickly or perhaps even spend more money on up front. It just doesn't have a particularly great feel to it in terms of the build quality, but it's a great starter boom arm if you don't want to spend much money and you want to just get a boom arm going right off the bat. This has cost $14.99, virtually nothing like $20 or something like that, and just by having a boom arm attached to the fine fine microphone it's going to make a huge difference to the overall quality of the sound and then cutting out some of the background noise like keyboards mouse clicks and the humming noise of your pc it's a pretty basic boom arm that's around about one foot by one foot long so it's got around about a two two and a half foot uh, reach on it you can add a little bit more on that if you include the length of the microphone but that is enough for you to mount it on the side of your desk either at the front or at the side and it's got the universal screwing fixtures as well for you to add loads of different varieties of microphones here we see a few of the different blue Yetis being adjusted onto it. One small downside to this entry-level boom arm is that it does not come with a pop filter where some of the other boom arms that you can get for, let's say, around about twice the price, 30, 35 pounds, 40, 45 dollars, you sometimes do get a pop filter on those and they extend a little bit further. This particular boom arm that I've got, which I'll also link below, costs 40 pounds and this is basically a forever boom arm. It's one that I know I'm going to be able to use for many, many years. So of all the different products, this is probably the single product that I'd probably be inclined to think twice about buying. If you can afford the extra 10, 20 pounds to get a better boom arm, it's probably going to be worth your while because you probably will end up replacing this boom arm after a year or two. But if you just want to absolutely minimize cost, it's a brilliant option. So there you go. That was a budget streaming setup or a starter streaming setup for less than $250. I'm sure you'll agree. Lots of value for money in the products that I've recommended here. If you found it useful, hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. Comment below. Let me know if you bought any of these products and which ones you liked and didn't like. Don't forget to use the Amazon links if you've not already bought these, but you want to buy these because they will support the channel. Finally, and most importantly, okay, make sure you watch this video here because this video will go into detail about how you can make all of those products products feel and look a lot more professional just by setting them up and using the various techniques to get the most from the gear that you have bought. As always, have a great day and take care. Bye-bye.